Hello everyone, we are back with a replay of one of Pistol Star's games, and we are joined by Pistol Star himself. How's it going? Hey Sam, I'm good, how about you? Yeah, not too bad. Uh, I'm a bit sick this week, so uh, hopefully we'll keep the energy up. Well, we're here on board 10, and you're against a fairly high-rated opponent. Top yeah. 15, top 20. Yeah, so this will not be an easy match, even though you have a, a slight ELO lead. Well, I'm not going to focus too much on the opponent's terms, but I think the first one's pretty important. They rolled a 4 and a 5. Here, would you just be taking mine and boat in their, in their shoes? I think there are two options. Mine boat is some uh, combination that's really nice, of course, for for free. Yeah. And another thing is maybe a double boat through the black market is also a playable move. Okay, right. If they sell their five, they can get two boats. Keep uh, keep first player there. Yeah. Okay, they do end up taking double boat. So. With a 6 and a 2 here, my first thought instantly would be a mine and boat. I think the mine is the obvious choice, uh, but the boat might not be worth it seeing as you can't get first player anyway. It's possible the mine and this yellow tar would be a good option. For the castle, I'm not sure if it's too early or not because it's going to be hard to connect to it and there is one in the black market too. If I, if I were in this position, I would probably go the mine and the yellow tile on two here. This is this is a good yellow tile as well. I quite like this one. And um, first thing, of course, we have a boat and a mine. They are very important. Uh, mm -hmm. But he already has only connections for two boats. So it's not very important right now, that boat, for us. We can wait. Mine, obviously, is very important for him, very important for us. So this is like a must. There are still two very good tiles in the black market, like the castle, and also the four points per animals. So I'm not caring about the black market yet. And our opponent, of, of course, he wants a mine or a castle. Mm -hmm. And the black market castle is very expensive for them. So they, they wish they can get a bank or sell twice um, goods. So that's why I'm going for mine and castle first. Of course, now we have a trouble that we cannot place any tiles yet, but um, we have like town halls lying around, which could help us to connect to a castle. Yeah. We uh, will have a boat, then a mine, then a yellow to connect to the castle, for example. Right. Castle three or Sorry. yellow four, uh, mine one, boat six. So two ways. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. we can see that. Okay, so your opponent took a bank and placed it on the three, and they didn't buy anything. I find that a bit interesting. I guess there's no rush to buy anything, and they don't want to clog up their hand yet, so that makes sense. That's very important that the last tile clogging you up is really, really expensive. For yeah. example, like, you know, later he can roll three, four, or taking um, town hall, placing it, yeah, placing right. boat, buying, and buying the castle. Okay. which this is a big deal like this is really important and for us now imagine we buy the castle now when we have three unplayable tiles so yeah it's just death on to your move then i wow i see uh i see very few options here i'm actually struggling to think of a good move there's obviously the town hall here i think that's a decent use for the one the six i'm not sure if i were doing this you can obviously sell goods, but I would still probably just take workers here. To be honest, I don't remember exactly what I did here, but uh, I feel like this is still okay because we can definitely sell with the six. We will need to do it anyway at some point, And with the one, we can get the boats. So let's see. Okay, I did this, which I think is not the best move. The reasoning is if I take the boat and I need a two and a one, and then a five and a three. I think it's, this was still a mistake. I think we should just uh, take the boat and sell. Hopefully they don't buy the, the yellow. But if they don't buy the yellow, they still don't get the castle, which is probably yeah, so okay. It's not the end of the world if they take the yellow from us, even though we'd like to have it. They take yellow tile and place the yellow tile, spending one work in the process. I think that's fine. Uh, a two and a one. 
wow, this is not this has not been kind. So having a having a boat there would be very handy right now. Yes. Even though it costs two workers, I think the solution would have to be place and place. Maybe place and then take a boat, but then we need a one and a six. It's very, very tricky position. So if I were in your position, I would be placing the yellow tile and then placing the mine. Okay, so that's what I did. And I was also exactly thinking like you, should I place and take the boat or place and place? Yeah. But in the end, it still looks similar because the boat is on the number one, sadly. <laughs> yes. So we anyway need a one and a six pretty much, but it will be a little bit cheaper for sure if we go place, place, just to be safe. And then we still have some options of um, yellow plus right. town hall maybe. Because with the yellow, we can finish the yellow region, which scores a lot of points. And it's, it's, it's a fine tile. It's just a bit sad that it's not giving us any economy. And then we could go with um, a town hall to connect right away to the castle. We can also go to this castle up here. You're saying through this way. Yes, exactly. With a town hall. So your opponent takes two workers and then spends one of them straight away to get a third ship. What do you think about that move? Yeah, that shocked me quite a bit, but uh, when I was thinking about it, it's probably not so bad. It, it's, it really means we are second player for the rest of the game, so it, it's probably not, not so bad. The interesting thing is that they really want the town hall themselves, because they have the, the yellow tile, which gives them four points right. per, per town hall. I'm actually really surprised they didn't take the town hall there. It makes so much more sense to me. Yes, I also think so. But they should have done this. Uh, anyway, yep. for your turn a two and a one. Uh, well, I think the plan is just take the town hall, take the yellow tile. Should be able yep. to connect with it with decent rolls, hopefully. But I think that's pretty much the only use for these two numbers. I think so too. And even if we can only place the yellow number two, it's fine. Right, because part of the so part of the reason you don't want to go into a new round with tiles in your hand is so you can take the best ones available. But the town hall and castle don't really count towards this because you're essentially spending a dice to place them and then still grab something anyway. So it's they're basically not there. Two and a three for your opponent. That would seem to me just placing ship and taking workers I would probably not buy the castle. So I think the, the black market castle is still still uh, optional maybe because they are like so close to two castles. I think it's still quite good. Town hall also makes some sense. Right, now they have they, uh, yeah, they two still have the four points place. per town hall. Yeah, and and then they have a clean connection to a castle. I think the best move probably would be placing boat, taking workers, like you said, and then buy the castle. A one and a five here. Very close to nearly a good enough roll. Not quite. Uh, but I guess just place the yellow tile and take workers seems like the only option again. You could sell to get two coins, but I think having the workers is probably a bit more important. I think so too. So. Uh... Basing and then taking workers makes the most sense. Yep, that's easy. Okay, on to phase B. Okay, your opponent had quite a big turn there. They sold some goods to make way for their for goods for their place ship. They placed the town hall, placed the ship and then bought a ship from the black market. It seems like we really want to take this castle away from them. Okay, well it's like perfect to place the town hall and place the castle. I think that move is a given. So then we're going to be left with a three and uh, any number. Personally with a three I would be taking their castle. With the any number I would probably be taking one of the boats just so we can connect to this castle here. The other option is a yellow tile. So I would I would place, place, grab one of the boats and spend the three on grabbing the castle. 
Okay. So for sure, yeah, we want to place the four as long as we can, because we yeah. never know what the next rows are and it's perfectly. So of course we will do this. And like you said, the three should be taking a castle very cheap and they need desperately a castle. It's connecting the boats right away and yeah. effectively. So yeah, it's a must. We have to take this. And then with the free action, I would take another mine to block them from finishing a single mine and we will have a very strong economy. Another option is yellow tile three because um, this one also scores them if they place it into the, the yellow region and it's a very good tile, of course. Right. Why, why I don't want the boats is they are totally useless to them and only care for us for the rest okay, of the... That, yeah, that's bridge. something I forgot. They are... They have their boats for here, and these ones are very far away, so there's no rush at all to get the boats. That's my mistake. Okay, so then the, the mine or the yellow tile. I just see something interesting. I think we must take castle and yellow tile 5, because then they have only one single connection to the boats with the last yellow. Yeah, and then they, they are not allowed pretty much to get the mine, because then we block them from even completing their boats. Right, they would yeah, exactly. pretty much have to take this tile on their next turn, or we just take it away. Exactly, so so that's very interesting. And this is some something really important. You look at the other player's board, and where they are not connected, and take away all the tiles that connects them, or all the good tiles, and that hurts them very much. Right, so they're already blocked from here, because we took the castle, but we're about to take the castle. And if we block this as well, they're stuck with two dead tiles in their hand until they get to here or something. Exactly. And uh, Very interesting. forcing them to take that just to connect to here. Right. And that's not, not really nice for them to split up their yellow region. Oh, so, yes, of course, because then they'll have two so empty regions. I think what I did was, and I hope I didn't do that, but I'm pretty sure I did take Castle and mine. And I hope I take castle and yellow. Let's see. Oh. Sheep. That makes a little bit of sense as well. So the difference there is that we save a worker by taking the sheep. Uh, and we have plans to use them to connect up here. But, um, yeah, the, the, the thing is, that's the only good animal that I forget to talk about now. We have four points per animals. And uh, that's also a good animal for them, right? That's quite interesting. Would you still prefer to take the yellow tile now? Or would you stick with the cows now that you've seen yourself do it? I think we should have still taken that yellow tile three just to block them. I, I think we made a mistake there. Our move is also good. We spent, we saved a worker and we got an eight points tile at least, you know, like it's yeah. worth more, of course. Okay, so opponent three and a five. They take the yellow tile and take workers. That makes sense. Yeah, that makes a lot of sense. And and the, the, the problem here is they have no mines, right? And uh, now they have still a an engine for silver. So they having all the boats in the world is not that strong if they don't have a silver engine. But now we give them the silver engine pretty much. Right, because part of the massive advantage of being first player is also getting the first, the best tile on the black market. And if you don't have silver, you can't do that. But now they can get silver quite easily. A six and a three for you. Okay, I have the solution. This may be a little slow. We obviously still don't want them to have the mine. But I don't think taking the mine with a worker is the answer. So what I would do here is, with the six, take the market place the market, get a ship. This gives us a connection here. I'm not particularly excited about this yellow tile, so I think connecting there through boat is better. Obviously the advantage of taking the market is finishing this little region with good tempo of getting a boat as well. Do you remember what you did here? I guess I did do what you said, and I think it's it's fine. But now I see another mistake, uh, or another thing why why we really messed up before is now we don't have any pressure on the mine. Like we are not, even if we get a boat now and then we play the castle to get another boat, and then we play the boat. 
the only way to then connect to the minds is by yeah, doing this and that's not very effective because we leave to if we don't finish it yeah I, I just feel like taking that yellow is very smooth before now we have some trouble but yeah i would take the market and place it and then get a boat okay and really tiny detail uh i guess you take it from the one because we need a six anyway and that's close to it it's not as tiny as it looks maybe because it, it can save us like one or two workers so uh, yeah the one is better because we and have we a six and a two to here. place and we need a one here maybe a two for the mine um and with keeping our options open for a four is very crucial Okay, your opponent places the yellow tile to finish the region and then grabs another yellow tile. They spend one worker in the process. A two and a one here. This is where I may be a bit too over eager to spend workers, but in this situation, I would be looking to place, place the boat, place the castle, and that would spend both the workers. The thing is, I'm struggling to find what else to do with a two. Uh, and with the castle free action, probably take another boat, I would say. I agree. And I think the boat is mandatory over the mine because everything else is useless. Right. Um, I would do exactly the same. It's not like super perfect, but uh, we have no other option. If we place the boat near the number two, and then we have a one and we can get blocked from the four boat. Yeah, then we're stuck. We have no yellow. It's, it's, it's mandatory we have to do that and of course we have no option to place the, the animals so that's the only move for them we don't need to worry about their number five mine because they only have the option to place a five in the first place so they would need something like five five to make it worthwhile right five, because six, they, five, they are four. very restricted here they they need this five to, to start connecting to here and right. their hands full okay I think that's a pretty straightforward move. Place and take workers is pretty much all they can do. Exactly. A one and a three. One very obvious, or oh, is it very obvious? You know what I like here? I like selling the three, buying the warehouse and placing the warehouse here. That'll be our connection to this side. It seems pretty smooth. It'll leave us with two gold going into next round. We probably want to place the ship here anyway. What do you think about I, that as a move? I think that's a very, very clever move. I didn't see it, or I, I didn't. Maybe I was. Yeah, I, I, I think that's that's a really good move. Yeah, honestly. But it sounds like uh, it's but... not what you did. <laughs> no, that's not what I did. You found the best move, and I, I placed the boat in the number one spot, I think, and then took workers pretty much. Surely, I guess. So good what you what you said because we really don't want to start into the small in the small animal region but we really want to start in the big animal region first yeah especially so with it the makes four cows. It makes so much sense yeah yeah very good all right well <laughs> let's see what you did okay okay so you took workers and you did end oh. up placing the small region here your move was better definitely Thank you. <laughs> my my training has been paying off. <laughs> uh, opponent four and a five. Let's see. Oh, right. Sorry, I forgot that we are now first player. Well done. We have first player. So with a five, yeah. we place the cows, and with a six, with a six, we don't want the chickens. We're either selling or taking workers. One of the two. I would be fine with either. I think uh, at this stage, because we already prepared two silver, so I think it's best to take two workers because the next turn will be so important often. Yeah. Yep. Okay. A four and a five for the opponent. So they pretty much have to place their ship if they want first player, which means taking workers and placing, spending two. That's a very sad move, but I guess they have to do it. Yeah, I think so too. That's the only, only good move. Wow. 
They place and sell, leaving them with no workers. That has to be a mistake, surely. Yeah, it's, it's interesting because they have only one silver. That's the problem of not having any, any mine. Engine, or... yeah. I think it's a mistake, yeah, for sure. Okay, they are first player, though. First move with the two would have to be taking the castle. Probably just buy the other castle and just take workers now. That's what I would do in their position. Yeah, good. Wow, what a turn. So, to summarize that, they bought a castle, placed the castle, took a market with their six, placed the market with the castle, and with the market took another boat. So, um... Getting uh, one more boat was crucial, because if not, we will right. for only one worker get both. And uh, here we can see the... Uh, it was quite lucky for them to find something good in the black market, like a castle. And then, because they have the yellow tile, uh, I think it's the yellow tile 11. Oh, right, placement. Which, yeah, be, they can place Because it of that. Yeah, Normally, they couldn't place the castle, but now they were able to do it. Now they, of course, look for an animal. So that uh, wow. three chicken especially is quite interesting. Okay. Uh, what's and... also important, very important, is in this game that you, if you can, maybe can you show the discarded tiles? Uh, how do I do that? I'm not sure I can. On, you see tile help section on the bottom left, and then underneath there should be a uh, no, lower it's discarded tile section. No, no, underneath. What? And yes, tile help section. You can. Um, you don't need it. You can do that in game. Yes, in game also. Oh my god, that's, <laughs> that's very important. Very very important. Like you, you check the animals. You know, like okay, how many are discarded? How many are on the opponent's board? Um, what buildings were gone? Which yellows were gone? And so on. I was over here thinking you just them. memorized it all. No, I had no. no idea about this. Oh my god. Okay. Wow. So the chickens, they still look quite solid. Only two chickens gone. You know, that's not so crucial. Yeah. And we all can also can see no picks yet showed up. So there's a good likelihood to see some good picks. And when we look, we see no four animal yet, except our four yeah, cows. Yeah, they taken. So these three chickens, they are much stronger than they look like. But OK, the picks are not much worse, because there's a more likelihood for more picks to show up. Yes. So, yeah. Okay, and and another reason that they didn't <clears throat> prioritize the second castle is because we are now very far away from connecting. Exactly, like we cannot, we don't have another boat option. Of course, we, we wish there was a black game. market boat. Yeah. So, and that's probably the way to go. I wish I wouldn't roll a four six in this situation, of course, because getting the castle is so so important. Because yeah. pretty much, if we don't get the castle now, they win the castle race, pretty sure. So maybe we can go for mine castle. Even if it costs three workers. And maybe thinking about buying the yellow, but that clocks our hand for now. For I'm trying to think what I would do in this position with a four and a six. Taking the chickens would be nowhere near my priority list, but I can see why it's a good move. Okay, here here's a... Here's a different idea. We buy the market, we place it on the six, we take the chickens. Sorry, we take the pigs, and then we use the four to take the chickens. That's also a very good move because it connects us very cleanly to the animal and boats. It blocks them. Yeah, next to. Yeah, exactly. So they would need another building. Ah, and there's a town hall in the center. So a town hall is is still is still effective for them to connect. Through the boats, uh, through the boats with the town hall, even though they we, they never finished that city. Right, they can um, do that because it's still worth four points for them. The thing is, with three animals, are we sure to get three more until the end of the game? That's uh, interesting. I probably think no. So probably just really go at for mine and castle right away, and just get everything that both players need, kind of. Okay. Is that what you're so doing? That's... No. There's a lot of undoing, I can tell you. <laughs> this move is so difficult. 
Okay, so you actually do end up buying the market, placing it, grabbing the chickens with it, and then getting a mine with the uh, four. So we spent one worker. Uh, a two and a five for the opponent. I think it's a good roll because they need a two desperately. So <laughs> yes. now we can take it. So it's a really, really good roll roll for them. A four and a three here. This might be a bit slow, but if I were in this position, I would sell with the three and place the chickens with the four. It's probably probably a good move, but at the same time, we block ourselves from any chickens and cows pretty much for the rest of the game because they will not score us four points again extra. Right, we want to keep this so, separate. So, so normally you don't never want to do this thing, never. And I ended up doing it, and I know it's probably wrong, just because it's for free and uh, we don't know if we get four more animals it's probably in close but uh, i think that's a it's, a it's a mistake but what we could do is um because there's only one good tile really left i would say which is the boat no which is the the picks i would say it's six points for us right and uh, i mean it costs us two workers but they also want the picks and we know that there are no picks yet to be shown up before. So they're the first picks in the game. So we can build up on up on these. So if, if you were to do this move right now, you'd spend two workers on getting the pigs. And then placing the... The, the problem, of course, also is we need to connect to the mine. But anyway, they don't really have a use for a boat. Yeah, we need that boat really much. So maybe that's even more important than the picks. But... I think it's a six point style and building up later. Yeah, the, yeah, yeah. I think um, I would do that. I would. I, I would sure never I consider this as a move. But that's that's that shows that I I should consider it more. <laughs> I'm not discounting it as a move at all. It's just one that's not intuitive at all to me. So you place the chickens mistake. up here, which is what you say you don't want to do, and you spend two workers to take the boat. So your opponent placed the castle, sold some goods, placed the boat, bought the town hall, placed the town hall, in a different order to all this, but that's essentially what they did. So they are planning on connecting through here with the town hall. That makes sense. It's still four points for them. A six and a two for us. Well, a six would just be grabbing the pigs, like we said. A two would probably have to be placing workers. I don't see any, any other move to do. Yep. Perfect move, pretty much. Like, yep. Very, very nice. Yeah, one more thing I wanted to say about uh, what we missed talking about all the time was the scoring. And that's really uh, the only way you can win, pretty much, as a second player. You need to outscore your opponent early on. I thought that was the only way you could win by outscoring your opponent. <laughs> no, no, early on. Outscoring early on, because they will usually outscore you in the end of the game. Right, because they like, have access the to the last tiles, yeah. Yeah, and they will just have control, and uh, you are a little bit less, more limited uh, as a second player. So yeah. they know which direction you go. And they um, can yeah. The main thing is they get these color bonuses more than you, and they will like finish many colors just before you. So they get a lot of free points. Who do you think is ahead right now? I think it's he. He has a higher likelihood of winning, but not not by too much. We still know. Uh, it will depend a lot on the animals in the black market. I think we can look at the black market uh, discarded tiles. We see no animal yet to show up in the black market, which is very unfortunate for us. Mm. But which means there are still eight in the black market deck out of uh, still 32 tiles and 25% of them are animals. So we should be finding a lot of good animals. And now we only need three more. Yeah. It will depend a lot on the animals, which ones will show up, especially in phase D. Spend to work it to taking place this yellow tile, just finishing up a region. They don't have any carpenters' workshops, but I don't really see too much else to do with their role. Yeah, I, I think it was a mistake because they still have only one silver, no engine behind. <laughs> I think that was a bit too greedy. 
They still have another round, so I expect in the next round they'll be placing and selling or taking workers and selling, something like that. Yeah, but they will not end up with two silver and two workers or something like this, so they will only and, end up and taking two tiles. Yeah, so it's a... Uh... At this stage, I think it was a mistake. Uh, it's, it's still not bad because they finished the region. It's not horrible, that's what I mean. A five and a four here. Five, I'd be looking at selling these goods. Four, probably placing the pigs for one worker. I guess the other argument could be taking two more workers, but it does feel a bit slow. So, yeah, one other option is maybe even spending two workers for placing the boat just to have a clean connection to the mine and then just don't care about it, the picks yet because we get a bonus for placing the mine and the picks not, are not really doing something for us. I mean, we really don't want to rely on one, two later. So that's why I think spending two workers to place the boat and then taking two workers is, is the best move, I guess. That is what you do, and you did roll a, a uh, two for the mine, so that was very nice. I even rolled exactly one two, <laughs> so it would have been awesome to just wait. <laughs> yeah, so obviously That's we can't cool. predict that. <laughs> oh, uh, oh yeah, okay. We knew the two was going to be a place anyway. Yeah. The one, the one we don't need to sell. We don't care about the warehouse, do we? So we're probably I would probably just take more workers here. Yeah, for sure. Now it's a good time to two workers is not really that much. If now we need to take two very good uh, tiles and then we have zero workers left, you know. Yeah. So just prepare. It's... That's a very crucial moment. Two workers is not not too great. So four workers is really good, and we have two silver. So we have a lot of options. And our opponent again played a little bit uh, on really? the wild on the on the greedy side, so we just need to get one turn when this doesn't work for them, so so let's hope. So roll I believe two well. is what they wanted to roll, that looks pretty good. Yes. And there's a boat yeah. in the black market, that's annoying. Oh, there's also this good yellow tile in the black market. I've got it, I've got it. Take the castle, place the castle, take a boat, buy this yellow tile. Very good, very good. That's a perfect move, yeah. And now we look at the animals, it's horrific. We have oh. eight tiles in the black market, and look at these. And we don't have any, and that, that now hurts us, of course, that we place the chickens up there. That's pretty much where we lose the game. They get a strong yellow, they get enough boats, they get a castle as well with only one worker, and we have like no option left. And then they have the four points per bank. There are two banks. And they have a bank already, and they are already connected. So this is like game over at this stage. If they find the move you just suggested, which obviously they, they find, do. and and of course they take the boat away from the one that we rolled. Okay, I have a question. Seeing how bad these animals are, and seeing as we're going to be going uh, second player in E, do we still commit to the animals here? The thing is, we still know there are eight black market animals. And the uh, last, there are 24 left for phase E. So one third of all tiles are black market animals. And if there are two in the black market, then we are we guaranteed to finish it. Okay. And, and it's so far, it looks like we are losing if we don't go for animals. Like what, I mean, we are already like losing. And if we don't go for animals, what will we score? So it's the only Nothing. play going for both these animals. Yeah, or at least hope he will not take any animals and we later can get him. Like, uh, I think for now, you can see we, we can make an extra turn, which I think is... Uh, uh, yes, okay. We can, we, okay. Should... we can get, we can even buy the ship and place it, yes. Yeah. But anyway, we can place the boat, take the cows, and then wait to see what we roll next. So that looks pretty solid. Okay. That's, yeah, that's a very straightforward move. All the ties are good for him and nothing is good for us. It's so sad. Okay, so you end up buying the ship, uh, selling some goods, buying the ship, placing the ship to make room for some other goods. And we have a six and a four now, probably just looking to take both animals. Other considerations the mine. There's still a bit of 
contest for the mine. It obviously completes it for us. It's still a one region for them. It's not the worst. If I were in this position, I'd probably be doing animals and mine. I'm thinking about animals, animals. taking mine, placing mine. We can see their role, and that's again sad for us, because they can make an extra turn. And they can get the carpenter's workshop, which then produces them town hall <laughs> and finishes the region. This is yeah. ridiculous. And then the, the banks are also awesome. So hard, and the four points per bank is so still like an option just to be safe. I'm also thinking about maybe taking away the carpenter's workshop, placing it and taking the town hall ourselves, but that's probably not, it's not good for us really. So I think either double animal or taking mine, placing mine, and then we still have six, three for next turn to get animals, but then they are maybe gone. So. Boat mine. That makes also some sense because then we have another extra turn. They make an extra, they get an extra, turn and we get an extra turn. They place their boat and take the carpenter's workshop. Opponent has six and a three. Yeah, of course they can place they it. They do but... have this tile, which I forget about all the time. Okay, so now a two and a three for us. I think the move here would just be placing the pigs and then taking the cows. We want the cows. No worker costs. Again, not what we wanted to roll. We really want a four or a six to get an extra turn. To, to place stuff as well. Yeah, we really want to get both the uh, cows now. This, this, this is either the only contested tiles now. So then to secure them both, would you mm. be spending two workers to place the boat, get an extra turn? Take the cows this turn and take the cows on our next turn. I think I found the best move is placing the two picks in the number two spot and then placing the boat in the number four, which only costs one worker. And then we have a right. high chance to get both uh, cows because three, six are opposite numbers. Okay. Cost like yes. average around two workers. That's the average around 2.11. So, okay, let's so see it. Should, we have to take a risk now. I think that's... Oh, you did my move! <laughs> yeah. Okay, but the Probably. better move would have been placing the, placing the boat. Okay, five and a three here. The three would be placing the cows, five would be grabbing the cows, I imagine. I think we have to prioritize the mine in some way, because that's the tile and the boats that we have to place. So would you place the mine and then grab the cows? Yeah, I think so. The animals are not, they don't really, we don't really care when we place it. We have three numbers for them. So it should be free anyway, later on. Right. And okay. maybe next turn we roll one, one, two, two or something. And the mine gets very expensive. So. Okay. So it's better to spend a worker on the mine now because it's mandatory to place it before D is finished. And because we have three options for the animals, if that makes sense. And uh, the boat will be, of course, also very important. We yeah. should be normally often getting it for free to place a four or a six. At least one worker maximum. Okay, we place the mine, grab the cows. Oh, we'll get to your roll in a sec. But a six <laughs> so, and three for the opponent. Are, are you laughing or crying there? I, I'm laughing because that's the only combination that costs us. <laughs> two workers right there's right, no other right. combination oh that's 2.78 percent that's one out of 36 that's really unlucky but okay your opponent still doesn't have any mines so if i was them i'd be selling the six and then taking yeah. workers most likely yes yes yep so two and a two how mandatory is placing this ship yeah, that's a good question because I think it's very important because we have then the option of an extra turn. Right, yes. So then the, the, the only solution is taking workers and placing the ship. And we'd place it on the four because we need a four here. Yes, and, and uh, also 
Exactly. Yeah. That's as well. And then, uh, for example, that could be a black market castle, I guess. Yeah. Yeah. yeah and also, the animals, all three, four, five, they are nearly all fours, let's say. Yeah. So that four is, is getting expensive anyway. Yeah, that's not what I did for sure. What? <laughs> oh. I was like, what the fuck? <laughs> What's that? Yeah. Okay. There is one animal in the black market here. What are the chances that your opponent's taking all three? One hundred percent, I guess. <laughs> that's that's a hundred percent what you would do in their position. Yes. And then I would say, so. say say they do that. What is our response? Crying. <laughs> would our response be um, to take both the yellow tiles, or it just doesn't matter because it's over? We have. Uh... You don't even have that combination of roles. So the only option, maybe, maybe, and win us the game, but I don't think so, is buying the, the boat, place, taking two workers, placing the and boat, then getting extra two yellow tiles. And then praying for any two five combination for one worker. But even that, these two tiles are totally useless for us. Yeah. It's really sad. It's so sad. Oh. And that's yeah. that's what we was hoping, of course, that two or more black market yeah, animals so show up. The chance was pretty pretty high, and we saw only one black market animal in the whole game. That's really ridiculous with eight in the game. Okay, then. So, are we going for this ship play, taking workers, placing the ship, hoping we take the yellow tiles away? Okay. Not sure what I did. Okay, so he just uh, placed the cows, no workers, took the castle, and bought a carpenter's workshop. Oh, <laughs> well, that's interesting. You did roll a two and a five if we had gone for this play. The issue is just if we had done all of this, even successfully. Yeah, it's, it it's can probably also... not enough. Yeah, and it's, it's like they can block us also from some tiles, so yeah. Yep. Well, uh, I think we'll skip through these last moves a bit. It seems like the game's mostly over. Five and a two. What I would be doing is selling the fives here while we have a five roll. And then I would probably take workers with the two. Or sell these goods with the two, but probably take workers instead. Yeah, I think uh, both are fine. Yeah, I think this is correct what I did, because we are in a losing position, so we just have to pray. Just have rolls. to get the good rolls if we're any chance yeah, of winning. Yeah. Taking workers is exactly just yeah. the loss. Okay. Yeah. But yeah, placing the five is maybe doesn't matter. Okay, you do decide to place the cows and sell the two. I think that's doesn't really give some matter. space. Yeah, space. That's the the thing. Yeah, so it makes sense. The yellow one is three. Of course, the yellow one is free because this <laughs> this tile is this tile has been very useful, I must say. Yeah, it's really good. It's a really good tile. One in a six. Surely we are taking the boat, placing the boat. Or would I you... don't think so. So you want to make use of the black market by? Okay, sorry. We also have a one here that we want to do. We have a one and a six. That is a boarding house. So we're going to place the carpenter's workshop, take the boarding house, place the boarding house. And buy the boats and just, to make, the sure boat just to make sure they don't. And buy the just to make sure, yes. Okay. Yeah. I like that. Even, we maybe we don't need to buy because it uh, costs them two points and we, we have don't have much to do. Yeah. We have no, nothing to do, so it's, we kind of hope they block us from the boat. <laughs> I think as, it's, as like it's a bad better. Move for them. Yeah. That's what they do. Three and a six here. Place the castle, place the boat. We still have a free action. Probably selling the five. I think that's the best move. Because this one way we sell the most goods. Mm -hmm. And we open up ourselves for three different, different numbers on the last tiles turn. of goods. And also six three and six one, they are very different. Even yeah. one three, but of course we want to sell the six in the end. Okay. That's not the best. It 
was the mistake. It 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 worked out for you. <laughs> you rolled a five and a three. <laughs> well, that's just very obvious. Sell and sell. Oops. Yeah, maybe not a mistake because we have one, three, five. Each has a space in between. Right, so you can guarantee it. So, and we we can spend up to two workers without losing a point. So sell and sell. Yes. Yeah. And now pray. <laughs> it's enough, but I don't think it's enough. Probably does the same. Sell and sell. And we lose by three points. That's a very close match. Yeah, one, and one seventy-nine we were really to one seventy-six. It was quite interesting because there were mes mistakes on both sides. In phase A, I think we both played quite all right. Good, I think. Um, phase B, I made mistakes that, that um, lost us the game I, I, for sure. I think. Phase C, they bring brought us back into the game with their mm -hmm. mistakes. And then we had a really good chance, but the phase D was the, very the animals, unfortunate. Oh, the animals were awful. Goes to show the importance of uh, being first in the last round as well. Just completely hampered you by taking the three animals. It wasn't even that bad for them. It scored decently, but it just completely killed our score. Yeah, and we would have won if the phase D cows wouldn't have been cows. Oh yeah, if it was like two, a three and a three, that's a win, isn't it? a tie and that he would win because we have less tiles i'm pretty sure i think there were no sheep in the whole game that's insane oh yeah two sheep okay <laughs> there were that, sheep. the, the animals lie. were so <laughs> so unlucky because we see very bad animals at the start of the game which which gives us a very high probability of good animals later on but that is were, were barely any all the black market and the other animals just full of good stuff and it didn't appear so that was very unfortunate. It was very useful to get inside your head, sort of hear your thought process. Even 800 ELO players do make mistakes sometimes. Like you were saying, we don't want to keep have separate animals here. That that could have been the yes. difference as well. Yes, a like, lot of mistakes. And we had made so many mistakes in phase B, a couple of mistakes, and then in phase C as well. It's a lot of mistakes, and we still nearly won. Yeah, very because close. Because nearly everyone makes mistakes. Nearly everyone, I, I guess, like a perfect playing player would reach 900, 950 ELO. So, mm. so you you kind of guaranteed that your opponents will make mistakes, especially on boards like like this. It's it's easier to make mistakes. All right, it's a very tricky um, board. Board ten. That was very instructional. Anyway, thank you very much for your time. Thank you very much. It was fun. And uh, thank you for having me. No worries. We'll uh, we'll be back again in a few days, I guess, with it with another replay. All right. Thank you very much. Okay. And see you soon. See you.